Welcome back, everybody, to Graveyard Keeper. How are you? I'm doing okay today. Thank you for asking. But you didn't ask. Or did you? It's kind of you to do so. Anyway, let's get things kicked off. I'm still trying to look for the darkness that lies within. I haven't yet found a dark heart. Still trying to look for dark body parts. Having trouble doing so. But alas, that's the luck of the draw. That's just how it has to be, apparently. But I got no problem with that. It's okay. Things will be the way that things will be. So the best thing that we could possibly do is just continue on with our existences and try to be okay with others. I think that's that's good. We were just behind the bar a little bit ago. If you're interested in cocktail recipes, we do that too around here. We is in me and the rest of us is in you, if you choose to. It was called Nuclear Meltdown. I zoodled a watermelon. I've never done that before. And it tastes okay. It's honestly not the best drink in the world. I, I don't know if I'll be finishing it this evening. It's not not super good. Not the not my favorite thing to come out of the the books that I have over here. Um, but yeah, apparently there's a couple of things that I'm trying to get done here. Um, one of those things is to collect one. I need to collect two dark hearts. I have yet to find a single dark heart, and I need two of them. One for the Inquisitor, and one for Snake, the guy who lives in my basement and hasn't left. And nor do I think he ever will. But that's okay. I, I got no problem with Snake. He seems to be a pretty cool dude. He keeps out the rats. There's no rats in my basement. And maybe it's because he's taking care of it. But there's a couple other NPC quests that I'm trying to work on as well. Most of it all comes down to becoming an aristocrat. I need to become an aristocrat to please Miss Charm. And I need Miss Charm for the merchant's quest. As well as the astrologer's quest. So there's a lot. There's a lot riding on Miss Charm. And a lot riding on me becoming an aristocrat. And honestly, the only way for me to become an aristocrat is to make a shit ton of money. I need 12 gold pieces. And I currently have two and a half. So I need a way to make money. I don't know what the best way to make money is aside from continuing to plant things, dig bodies, dead bodies, and just continuing on there. So I think it's going to be pretty casual this time around. I don't really have a particular goal in mind. I'm just trying to make money. So I'm going to do the best that I can to do exactly that make money. I did find out a couple uh, tricks from last time, though. Apparently, one of the things that I usually do to get blue points is I build books. I make books. And apparently, I can sell those books to the astrologer. Did not know that. I have been... I've been destroying them. I've been turning them into research points. So I have a shit ton of research points. However, I could have been using that on money. It's not a lot of money, but it's money nonetheless. And until I get that first dark heart, I can't give Gold Star Burgers and Gold Star Beer to my buddy the Inquisitor because apparently they can't burn witches on an empty stomach, one. Oh, but more importantly than that, they need to snuff out the darkness of the world first. Um, apparently that's very important to them. Okay, fine. Sure, sure. That's okay. I don't mind. I don't care. Uh, I'm going to try to make some books. I'm going to try to make some beautiful stories. I have a couple of, um, excuse me, I have a couple of perks that allow me to make good stories. I like good stories. I'm a good storyteller. Maybe. Not exactly sure to be perfectly honest. I don't usually tell stories. I have been an act for the past, though. Maybe. Maybe that means I'm okay at telling stories? I don't really know. That's not for me to decide. That's for... the world to decide. World, if you're listening, I'm a good storyteller. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. A great storyteller. One of the best storytellers of all time. Basically, I'm Shakespeare in the modern age. <laughs> promise. I promise that. I'm just kidding. I'm lying. I don't have any mead left. Mead was an excellent way for me to gain energy, but I don't have that. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to head upstairs and rest for a little bit and hopefully grab some. I think I can go foraging for honey. You know, I'm going to go foraging for honey or see if I have honey. If I don't have honey, that's okay. How do I have honey? Honey's might be upstairs. I don't really know. Ayo, hey, Dakota's back, and you're the best storyteller ever to exist. <laughs> the world? Is that you talking back to me? I see you took my bribe. I accept this. I accept this with open arms. But incredibly so, I thank you very much for the compliment there, Dakota. I don't necessarily agree myself. I know many more better storytellers than myself. However, don't take that as me denying your reality. This is our reality. And I accept that. And I am happy to hear it. Very much so indeed. I don't think I have any... Oh, I have honey. I'm going to take honey downstairs. Uh, honey, we're going downstairs. I'm going to turn you into an alcoholic beverage. Oh, it only takes one honey for mead? Oh, and I only need three hot... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to 
go get some hops. I'm gonna go harvest the hops farm. Oh, but I gotta take some of these notes and put them downstairs. I need inventory space. I require the space of my inventory. If I don't have space in my inventory, I am nothing. I am nothing. But now that I have some really awesome notes on the story that I was definitely telling, it's the best storytelling in the world, um, I'm gonna put that away. I... I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna go back up. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna get some hops. I'm gonna get some grapes. I'm gonna make some wine. I'm gonna make some beer. I'm gonna make some mead. Oh, the world is our oyster. What we are going to do with the crops in my agricultural collection. Ah, Dakota's about to play some Pokemon MMO and grind your Pidgey to level 43 and hopefully have a pretty good grind session. Ooh, I hope so. I hope so indeed. Which Pokemon MMO is it, by the way? I used to play back in like, I think I was in like elementary school. There was a Pokemon MMO that was up called Pokemon Crater and that was like super hella popular. But then I guess somebody took it down. Pokemon Crater is gone now. There might be duplicates out there, but the original is no longer there. And then I want to say the other one was... I don't remember what it was called. Oh my god. There was another Pokemon Crater type online MMO that came up, and I don't remember what it was called. Gosh. Come to think of it, I remember enjoying that so much. It's just called Poke MMO. Hmm. Not familiar with that one. But Pokemon Crater was really fun. And I know there was another one that came afterwards, and I'm completely blanking on what it was. Wow. And it was cool. I the, One of the reasons that I really, really liked that one in particular was because it would actually, like, they had some of their own Pokemon, too. And honestly, I don't think there was any battling mechanic either. Honestly, I, I liked those because it was all about catching them all. It was all about going around and catching them all. There was trainer battles to it, but it really wasn't core to the gameplay, at least not not from the gameplay that I was a part of or whatever I was playing. Uh, and I, I loved it. I had a great, great time with that. Very much so. Hey, you. Uh, no, stay back there. I'm going to craft the finest grapes. Actually, just, yeah, just, just do that. Actually, does that get rid of my seeds? Oh, I don't know if that gets rid of my seeds, though. Actually, you can work on hops. I will, I will let you work on hops for now. You can do that. You can grow some hops. Everybody else will get something different. You get grapes. You get grapes. You get grapes. <laughs> grapes. No grape there. No, uh, yes, grape there. Uh, hops. That's not grapes. Um, hops? Nope. Hops? No. Nope. Where? You. You're gonna get hops. I'm gonna give you hops. Hops? Hops? Hop seeds? These are grape seeds. Those are hop seeds. Oh! I've run out of hop seeds. Uh... Do I have any hops on me? I got 22. I think I'll be okay until next time. I'm gonna put the rest of my seeds in here. Oh my god, I have more... Oh, I have so many gold star vine seeds. I should actually... You know what I should do? I should make more. I should make more of these trellises. I should. I should make more of them. I really should. Uh, where's the you? You over here. I'm gonna make some trellises. I need dowels. I will come back with dowels eventually, and make more spot. But in the meantime, here, take some. Oh my god, there's so many grape seed. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, totally. Do that thing you do so well. Grow into a beautiful, beautiful human being, or a grape. One or the other. It's totally your choice. If you grew into a human, I might be less inclined to turn you into wine. However, I've heard blood wine is a thing. Maybe not Maybe not in this century, but maybe somewhere out there. I don't know. I don't know. You decide. Your life choices are not mine to dictate. However, I think I give pretty sound advice. I need a lot more water than I currently have. Um... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prioritize on making a bunch of mead. And when I make a bunch of mead, I should have a lot more energy to be able to do tasks and not have to stop doing those tasks. So I'll, I'll work on that. And I think that'll be okay. I think I can just get... I can just get water from here. Oh, look at that. Look at all the water. Excellent. More water, please. Thank you. More water, please. Thank you. Ah, so much water. I don't even know if I have space for all this water in the basement. Odd enough, though, that I can store liquids in a chest along with a bunch of other stuff. It must be like a pretty gunked up mess in here i've got fat flesh honey and water just like floating around and there's a couple of like hard diamonds and glass bottles in here like i don't know what this guy's doing but oh my god it sounds disgusting anyway i'm gonna put all the water in there and use at least some of it to make some more highest quality mead and i don't even need to be a good brewer i'm just that good at making mead that's good that's very good i'll put the rest of my hops in here i don't need crop waste i'm just gonna trash that i, I don't need that right now Destroy it. Oh my god, you know what I just remembered? I have a body that just came in. 
And I should go see if that body has a dark heart. It'd be really awesome if it did. It'd be really, really swell if it did. I'd like at least one. Because then I can give it to the La Inquisitor, who I think is... Is the Inquisitor on Downward Facing Day or the other day? I don't remember. Oh, where's the known MP Upward Facing Day? So that... Oh, that's today. Well, if I get a dark heart... Perfect. Not you. You can stay on the ground. How about you, though? Do you have a dark soul? Nah, you're just... Just human like the rest of us, unfortunately. Not possessed by a demon or anything like that. It'd be pretty cool if you were, but eh, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna hold you to it. That'd just be... That would be irresponsible of me. However, as always, I will extract all of the useful ingredients from your body, including, but not limited to, your blood. And it would be very interesting if I could actually make blood wine. I don't think that I can, but man, wouldn't that be cool? I think that'd be pretty awesome. I'm apparently storing a bunch of my stuff in here. That's okay, I'll come back for this eventually. I'm not currently working on any particular recipes that would use this stuff, so I'll just leave it here. That's no problem. Um, I gotta do something with this dark brain, though. I don't know what yet. I, th I think I'll just... I don't have much use for it, so that'll be okay. Huh. Darn, the disc just... You can just stay on the ground. You can. You really can, though. I have no reason for... I've already... I already bloodlet this one. I think they'll be okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put my brain in the cube. Can I mush the brain up? How do I process the brain? I don't... I don't... Make it... I don't make it gas. I squish it. I mix it. Yum. Delicious. Death solution. <laughs> Dionysus, no. Dionysus, yes. I will drink the wine of your blood. Or maybe not. I don't know. It really depends on what the laws are around here. Oh, wait. I forgot. I make the laws. I'm the graveyard keeper. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not a political body in this town. Although, I am a body and I can get political. <laughs> how about that airline food? <laughs> Talk about getting political. <laughs> I don't know how much space I have down here for burning bodies. Oh, I have more carrots left. That's excellent. Hello, everybody. Hello, all this. I have more space for bodies. Do I have billets? Nope, I don't have any billets left. I have to chop down trees and make some billets. Mm, yes, indeed. I think, essentially, I will just be attempting to make as many dollars, as many gold dolores as possible. Because uh, I need more dolores to become a good, good person. That, or there's some, like, quest route that I can go to where I will, like, uh, like automatically become an aristocrat. Which would be pretty freaking awesome. But not trying to spoil that stuff for me. If it's even possible. I guess I'll just have to become a billionaire. Just that what it has to be. I need more DeLoreans. I need many more DeLoreans. Plenty more DeLoreans. I don't think laws work like that. You just touch the body so no one else has to. Well, if you think about it, consider this for a moment. Everybody knows that God is one who can create and manipulate life. Since I know for a fact that resurrection is a thing in this game, me putting the bodies back into the ground, giving them a proper place to rest, is actually allowing the rebirth process to take place. So, in effect, I am birthing new humans. Therefore, I'm God. Therefore, if I'm God, I make the laws of the world, which could be political or jurisdictional, or not. Depends on what kind of God I am. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be the graveyard keeper god. I'm just gonna keep to this over here. I, th I think I'll be okay. I, I, and maybe I do a little farming on the side. And I, and I make wine. Just a side hobby of mine. Sometimes I go dungeoneering. That's pretty cool too. Um, sometimes I, uh... Sometimes I say a couple of words at the church. Spread the good word of god. You know, myself. Not me. This is a metaphor. This is a bit. It's a bit. I'm not a god. Cameron speaking here. Not a god. The narrator speaking here. Am a god. Graveyard keeper speaking here. I am insignificant. Corpse who's laying on the ground speaking here. I say nothing. I'm a corpse. I have no words to give. I have nothing at all. I am just dead. This, sir, this is why you get smited every single time I leave town. Okay, to be fair, I haven't tried to leave town in a while. We could try to prove that. But until I do try... I'm just gonna say that doesn't happen anymore. I have no proof for that. It's fine. It's okay. I don't need that. I'm gonna go grab those bodies that I don't need anymore. I'm gonna take them down. Down south. Down south. We're right down here. Oh! <gasps> I have a new body that's just arrived, and I'm out of carrots. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Wait, Sir Donkey, come back. I want to touch you. I want to touch you. Come here. Come here. 
Not enough. Not enough? What do you mean, not enough? Oh, I can't swing my sword. That's why. <laughs> oh, which means I can't harvest carrots either. I'm gonna go drink my sorrows away. And by that, I mean I'm gonna drink mead so I can gain my energy back. It took a little while for me to get to that point. <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm just tired. <laughs> oh, the mead is all I have! <laughs> and my farm. I also have carrots. Don't forget, I have carrots. Oh, and all these dead bodies. How could I forget? <laughs> How could I forget? How could I possibly forget? I didn't harvest onions, you silly worm. Harvested carrots. The vegetables of royalty. <laughs> Disgusting. Corpses may not have words, but I'll have a word with you. But corpse husband says many words. He gets paid for it, in fact. He's in an official anime now. You'll never go hungry again one way or another, whether I have onions or carrots or what have you. Corpse husband has an anime now. Excellent. This is this is good. I don't exactly know who Corpse Husband is. Full disclosure there. I don't exactly know who you're talking about. However, I'm sure it's a wonderful anime. Share. Share. Share the name. I want to put it on my watch list. I'm going to put it on my anime list, which is a website that I go to to track the anime that I watch. Not just my anime list. Your anime list. Our anime list. Together anime list. Oh, I never took your body parts out. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> the hell with anime. I've got a dissection to do. Mmm. Mmm. The blood of the fallen. Mmm. The fat of those who came before us. Mmm. Skin your face and your body. There's literally nothing left. Sorry, that might have been a little much. I'm just going to throw all the ash and stuff in here, too, and the salt. I get too much salt, honestly. He was popular in the Among Us scene. Oh, he's the main antagonist in Tribe 9. Oh, seriously. Interesting. Among Us. Not going to lie. That's pretty sus to me. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. Anyway, do you have inner darkness? I hope you do. Here it comes. No. Man, it's been getting harder and harder to find bad people out there. Where's the world come to? Why are there a bunch of goody two-shoes in the world now? <laughs> Do crimes! Foster your darkness! Come on, guys. Live a little! Don't. Not unless you want to be arrested. Remember, when you die, your resurrection is in my hands. Do you trust me with that power? I certainly don't. Especially not while I'm drinking. I'm technically drinking on the job. <laughs> both both in-game and out-of-game, I am currently drinking a cocktail, and my character is keeping himself awake by drinking mead. <laughs> Made with the finest hops, if I may add. So, can we kill Snake to see if he's a bad enough dude to save our residents? Honestly, I don't think we can kill Snake, unless that, honestly, for all I know, he might be somebody that I kill at the very end of his storyline. I know not. Hopefully, if I do kill Snake, he accepts it. Snake seems like the kind of dude where if he were to be put to the deathbed, he'd be like, yeah, definitely had this coming. No, def definitely saw this. I am straight up a vampire. He's not actually straight up a vampire, but people think he's a vampire. Or at least the one dude thought he was a vampire, but we killed him like four episodes ago. Maybe even farther than that. That was the time I committed murder. I did not mean to. I was told to. I had an alibi. I was currently busy helping out a friend. Murder somebody else. But still helping out a friend nonetheless. I assure you. Now that I got those bodies down there, uh, I picked up a couple of different things. I have some more crop waste and whatnot. By the way, my apologies. I am touching my nose a lot. It is incredibly itchy for some reason, and I don't know how else to scratch it. Technically, I actually... I was considering this recently. I think it's less weird for me to go like this than it would be to take a foreign object and scratch it for me. Like, I feel like that would be weirder. <laughs> Better to, for me to scratch it with my finger than to stick a pen up my nose. Just, just to ease my, my, my itching nostrils. Blech. Did I mention I have I have respiratory I have respiratory phlegm? I do. I do. I always do. I've lived my life with it. 
It's sometimes worse and sometimes better. That's for the world to decide. Or me. Acidic foods I tend to avoid. I'm gonna just harvest everything here. I got I got nothing to lose. Actually, can I can I sell carrots? Carrots come in large quantities. I don't know. I'm just gonna harvest everything and see what I can do with it. Wheat I know I can use for beer. I need wheat for beer. Oh, what am I what am I doing? I gotta plant things. Don't forget to plant the things, you dumb dumb. You big dummy Cameron, you have to plant things, don't you know? Oh, that's not enough. Oh, that's fine. How about this? Okie dokie. I can have enough space for wheat seeds now. Or just wheat. That's okay too. I'm gonna put your it's a lot of crop waste. That's fine. Put the seeds away. I have these wooden dowels. Wooden dowels are good. Take up these onions. Onions I know are good. Onions I know I can sell. Um, I think everything else is mostly like, I don't exactly know. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm not currently an expert at this. Actually, one of the things that I've been considering doing if I manage to find like the, the an appropriate amount of time for it is I want to just kind of like do a whole like, I used to do a lot longer streams. And so I'm actually considering doing like a really long stream of Graveyard Keeper because I feel like there's a lot of progress that I need to make and I'm not making much progress on these things. So I, know I wouldn't be totally against doing like a mega episode at some point just just to just to make some more progress and whatnot just to vibe for a little while because to be perfectly honest on nights like these i can really only vibe for so long i get really really tired it's been a hard day's work so far and a hard day's week as well luckily at least this week i have the chance to kind of go off and vibe for a little bit because i as i mentioned uh during the cocktail segment i am doing a little bit of traveling I'm going to see a buddy of mine I haven't seen him in a little while i miss him so i go see you go see your friends when you miss them and that's a good thing keep those connections strong it keeps us alive. Social connection. Some people say it's a some people say it's a need. But you know, to each their own, of course. I like I like my friends. I fight for my friends. If I were Marth, which I am not. Put these seeds away. I don't need this crop waste anymore. Uh oh, do I have more seeds in my inventory? No, I have but I have a bunch of oh. Look at that. Seeds in my inventory. Go for it. Yeah, put it in there. There we go. Get some more of these beets. I actually don't, I don't need to harvest that. That is hemp. I don't need hemp. I don't need to make that much rope. Oh, am I running out of, oh, I ran out of pumpkin seeds? I ran out of pumpkin seeds? Oh, no way, dude. Oh, pumpkins was a good source of, <sighs> that sucks, bro. Very understandable, says Lorelai. Oh, of course it is. It's good to take care of yourself. Long stream wouldn't be fun though. Oh, for sure. I always have a good time with those things. Grant, I, I wouldn't stream for a long period of time if I wasn't having a good time with it. Otherwise, that just seems a little counterintuitive. Why do something that you don't enjoy? I don't know. Do the things that you enjoy doing, dudes. I can't believe I'm out of pumpkin seeds. I don't have enough pumpkin seeds for another plant. That's incredible. Wow, okay, I need to go purchase more pumpkin seeds. All right. But I guess I'll take care of some of the seeds that I currently have. Oh, you know what? I didn't make the wine. No, I don't want the... I don't want you in my inventory. Don't need the crap waste. I should go take care of the um, the other wine and beer that I have going on here. Yeah, I completely forgot to do that. Make some berry juice and stuff. So, do I have space in my inventory? I do. Let's make pails of grape juice. I make pails of grape juice to, so that you can have good wine. Oh, look at that! A sinful soul has just arrived. I hope. He, he says, hopefully. I would like it to be a sinful soul. That would be most most beneficial to me as of right now and so i did that so i'm gonna do but take my chances 80 percent chance of a gold oh i don't have a silver thing oh i need to put things in the uh, i don't put cabbage down here do i i do not but i will put the pail of group juice down here now i'll go get this other pail i'll combine it with the gold pail i'll make myself some wine 80 percent chance of sil of a gold that's perfect and i think I think I have enough for hops, too. I can make beer. I, I should make some things of beer to prepare myself. Can I make another thing of beer? Totally. Yeah, I got plenty of hops. I got so many hops. I got mad hops, bro. The maddest of hops, did. And uh, I thought I'd pick up wheat. Did I not pick up wheat? Oh, I just took the wheat from my inventory. Nice. This is, this is good. I have plenty, plenty of gold star onions and i don't need all of them actually do i have i have a lot of meat up here i think can i make burgers right now i think i can make burgers i can make burgers with the gold oh i have so many burgs time to make all the burgs 
And I don't even need, I don't even think I need that many burgers to make money. And I can make a lot of money each week from those burgers. So that is quite the grind. I'm serving up fun. That's what we're serving up over here. Oh, got the mad hops. The maddest of hops for all those carrots. Oh, get it? Because I'm a rabbit. Nice. I love puns that are like one degree of freedom away from the punchline. For example, that one was funny. Funyuns. <laughs> Dude, I love Funyuns. That one was funny because like the piece, the rabbit piece wasn't there. You had to make the connection on your own. And that's one step away. I love comedy like that because it gets you thinking. And it's like, oh my God, I'm so satisfied that I got that. Anyway, I don't need too many onions. So I think I'm actually going to wrap up one of these onion things in a container and sell that because I can make a quality. Oh, I need flitches. I need flitches. But for that, I need wood. So I need to drop down trees. Oh, and I just remembered a dead guy just came in. I should be taking care of them too. Eventually. Eventually, eventually. In the meantime, worry about dowels. Worry about big dowels. I like big dowels. I can't lie. But for some reason, all of my dowels come to be the same size. I cannot change their size. Therefore, I am unsatisfied. Makes me sad. But now for Flitch. It's it's Graveyard Keeper and Flitch. A new Disney Channel original series. Starring your Graveyard Keeper and a little blue thing we call Flitch. Definitely, definitely not gonna have Disney totally coming after me on that one. Oh, for sure. Definitely not. Definitely not. All right, Dakota's heading off to bed. Gotta go to school tomorrow. You study up hard over there for a well-studied brain makes for an academically inclined mindset and an academically inclined mindset makes for a good future because a good future allows for degrees and other accommodations and accreditation and that will make you money in the future. That or like maybe you enjoy school, in which case, you know what? Just keep going because learning is fun. I thought we're, I thought learning once upon a time I thought learning was fun. One time, I thought learning was fun. As soon after they started teaching me that two plus two, if two is a variable name, does not equal four. It was all downhill from there. That was when it was all downhill. That and like multivariable calculus and complex function arithmetic. That's not fun. That's not fun. But do I know how to do it now? With the assistance of a calculator. Yes, because that's what the world uses. Why wouldn't you calculate it on a computer or use a calculator? That would just be dumb. I feel like I feel like nowadays, if you walked up to like your your boss at work and was like, "Hey, by the way, I just did all this math on paper. I know it's going to work." They'd be like, "We have a computer. I don't trust your handiwork. I trust the computer. You you write it and you validate it via official validation processes. I don't care about your handiwork there. I don't care if you can do long division. Although, maybe your bosses, maybe your boss feels differently about that. I'm not saying this is how my boss would react. I'm sure he'd be pleased to see that I was doing work on paper. I, quite frankly, don't think I have the time for that. That's why I have a computer. That's why these hands somebody once said were made for playing the piano but no apparently they were made for programming and typing on a keyboard that's what i do that's what we do i do i do programming i do i do i do i was actually thinking about it recently i was like technically i work on firmware am i a programmer i yes i i i yes i am i am a programmer and this is why and this is why i say that software I think is a lot more a lot more programmer oriented but if you think about it what is halfway between soft and hard firm if you're a little soft but a little hard you're firm that's where it comes from and to be perfectly honest i think it's firm because like technically i write it like software but it's so low level that you could basically call it hardware what an interesting world we live in. There's never such a distinguish, but it's a distinguish in nation. There's never such a dis distinguish in nation. Distinction. Distinction is the word I'm looking for. There's never such a distinction between yay or nay, left or right, up or down. In space, no one can hear you scream. Not that that's related to this conversation. Just, just a fact. In space, no one can hear you scream. There is no screaming in space. Nobody can speak in space. It's a lie. If somebody told you we can speak in space, they lied to you. 
Your dreams of becoming an astronaut or not? Different kind of keyboard. Technically different kind of keyboard. Ah, yes. Yes, indeed. Synthesizer keyboard, like the piano we were talking about. Or a keyboard keyboard, like, you know, the QWERTY. The whole, like, the whole... That keyboard. I'm actually surprised nothing happened when I did that. That was astounding. I honestly thought that was going to have a negative effect on the game. <laughs> I guess not. Oh, you know what I should be doing? I should be worrying about my graveyard. Hold up a second. I am getting a lot of bodies. I should... I should put these bodies in my graveyard. I should put these bodies in my graveyard. Why did I not think about that? How are you doing? You've got plenty. You're fine. How are you doing? You've got... Ugh. What a terrible body. What a dumb, dumb body. I hate this body. I want to exhume this body. I need to... You need to remove the Francis Graves thing. I'm gonna fix it? I don't wanna fix it. Is it broken? Is it broken? Are you broken? You don't look broken to me. Uh, I will remove it. I wanna take- I wanna take this body out of it. I wanna remove it. I wanna exhume. Exhume. I need an exhumation permission. Can I buy one of those? Hey pal. Hey- hey buddy. What is this? A wooden prayer station outside? Stone columbarium. Yo, hold up a freaking second. Stone columbariums at 12? Oh, I'm going to make some of those. Oh, and a stone fan. Oh, I should totally do that. Oh, screw this. I don't want exhum exhumation. Now nah, put that back. Put that back. I'm putting this back. You can stay that way. You're decrepit just the way that you are. And we like that. We're okay with that. We accept you. Ooh, tips. Failed. Failed? I could have sworn I just saw the word, fail word failed in there. Oh, my goodness. Graveyard Keeper, discover graveyard keeper discovers he can keep his graveyard in style. He can. And he do. He is the graveyard connoisseur. Mon ami. Mademoiselle. Ha <laughs> ha Anyway, let's pray before it gets too late. Because I think it's almost too late. Oh, no, no, no. Please, we have time for a sermon. We have time for a sermon. Yes, we do. Yes? Yes? Yes. We have time for a sermon. Excellent, excellent. I'd like to say a few words. Y'all stink, pleb dogs. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk about self-esteem and self-validation. <laughs> Snaps, everybody. Have a, have a good one. And for the blessing. Of course, we have to do the blessing. There's nothing, there's nothing worse than skimping out on the blessing. There's still so much to learn. So much to gain from my followers. Great sermon, great sermon. Excellent sermon. Claps for the sermon. Yes, claps, 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 claps. Claps for the sermon. Yes, please give me your money. I can't survive without it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise be to you, brother. Praise be to you. Success. Success chance, 100%. Faith bonus, yes. Donations, yes. I need more money. I think, actually, there's definitely a prayer for money. And I don't know why I currently don't have it. I don't need these. These dowels are just cramping up my style. I also have cabbages. Can I can I pack up cabbages? I feel like I can. But I don't know for sure. Actually, is there anything that I haven't yet researched? That's currently in my inventory? I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. No, I can't research any of it. There's nothing to research. Those papers don't count. Interesting. Hmm. Oh well. Back to uh, whatever I was doing. What was I doing? I was burying dead bodies, probably. It's what I usually do. It's kind of my default. Oh, bye, sir. Have a good one. Have a safe trip home. I'll miss you on next Sunday. Where's this body at? Give me your... You're coming with me. Sir, you're gonna have to come with me. It seems like you've been sleeping on the job. I know this. You're dead. You literally don't move. Oh, I have no billets. Oh, billets! I need more billets. No billets. Can't burn bodies. That's okay. I don't really... There's no rush. There's no rush currently. Oh. <gasps> Tired, Cameron. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I'm not... I'm not totally into this particular cocktail. It's... It's okay, but I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna pass on it tonight. 
I also have to stay up. I have to stay up late because I have things that I need to prepare. So instead, I'm going to switch to a different libation. It will be super coffee. It's coffee, but super. Super coffee. I'm staying up late tonight. Not for stream. It's other things. Oh, should I have shaken this? I'm not sure. Should I have shaken this? It doesn't say I needed to shake it. This is probably fine. This is probably totally okay. It's sweetened with monk fruit. I've never seen a monk fruit, nor have I ever tried a monk fruit, but apparently this has been sweetened with monk fruit. Take that as you may. Hope it's not a rough night on you after stream. No, it'll be totally fine. I just like, so my flight is at 4.30 in the morning. I haven't packed yet. And I need, being that I won't have time to do all my thumbnail and editing stuff tomorrow, so I'm just going to do it tonight. Simple and easy. I'm trying to save my, I'm trying to get, I'm, I'm grinding everything out now before I go. Okay, so I, can I make more stuff? Can I make more beer? I don't have a lot of water for that. I wonder if you could have a chip of monk fruit, could have a chip of monk fruit. Monk fruit chip? Yeah, probably. I've seen, actually, I've purchased at the store, I guess, I don't know if monk fruit, monk fruit is probably nothing to do with jackfruit, but I've had jackfruit chips before. They were not good. They did not gel well with my palate. I was not a fan. Not a fan whatsoever. So now, chipmunk shaped monk chip? Oh, <laughs> chipmunk monk chip. Oh, that, that, that took me a while. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is... I guess I'll increase my graveyard's prowess while I await for things to happen, I guess. I can also, I can, I can eat beets. I don't think I use beets for many things. I can eat cabbage. I don't think I use cabbage just for many things. Um, I sold most everything else. Oh, tomorrow is merchant day. I can go talk to the merchant and sell all the wine in my inventory. This is important. I hope I don't forget about that. I came back in here to do something. But what was it? There's no bodies here yet. I don't need to worry about that just yet. Think. Think, Cameron. Think with your special mind. I... I'm going to figure out what to craft for my graveyard. I think I'm going to work on the graveyard today. In the interim, because I'm waiting for bodies. I'm waiting for things, so I might as well work on the graveyard. Because I got bodies coming in, so why not? So the first thing I'll work on is this stone fence. I need a polished brick, polished bricks of stone. Actually, let me write this down. I'm going to forget this. How to make Cam feel he's having an aneurysm in one easy step. Pun fails. Because, like, my mind wants to figure it out. And sometimes I just don't. I try so hard. I need 24 of that, 2 of that, and 12 of that. Complex iron parts. Iron parts. Um, carved piece of stone. Carved stone. And polished stone. Polished stone. Stone to polish. These stones are polished. These stones are Polish. They came from Poland. We appreciate their exports. And we buy them and import them because we like to see a thriving global economy. So actually, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do this strategically for the amount of time that I'm attempting to optimize on. I am going to meditate until merchant comes around. Then I'm going to go sell all my stuff to the merchant, collect the money from the things that I've sold previously. And while I do that, I'm going to fix myself. I'm actually going to take my party hat and put it in the back because I think there's something about... The positioning of the party hat that for some reason like like um actually i'm not gonna put it in the back i'm just gonna adjust it so that my headphones are in front of it but there's something about the positioning of the party hats that for some reason like just like makes me feel really warm at my desk there are no heaters running not to my knowledge no there's no heaters running but i feel incredibly warm maybe it's because i'm currently wearing pants and it's like 75 degrees in here i don't need to be wearing pants but i am wearing pants i've kept my pants on Weird. Very weird. Yeah. So why would I keep my pants on? That's just silly. <laughs> Nobody can see my pants. So why does it matter? It's like the age-old question of, I'm getting on a Zoom call. Do I need to wear pants? I don't know. Schrodinger, Schrodinger's Zoom call. Pants and no pants at the same time. And we'll never know until we observe. All right, before I go talk to Merchant Man, I'm going to come over here and say hello to you. Hello to you. Are you a good man or a bad man? You're a fine, upstanding individual of society, and I hate you for that. Why couldn't you have been a criminal? 
I haven't found any dark body parts at all. What's going on with me? I can. I, I didn't lose it, right? Oh, please tell me I didn't lose it. I didn't lose it, right? Complex printing press. I, I need to double check this. I. I am. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Whew. 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 I can still make exorcisms. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's back to normal. It's great. Um, skin. In the skin. Oh, pants and no pants is either easier or a lot more confusing if you prefer British English or Japanese. Pants are no pants. Pants are no pants suit. <laughs> That's funny. It's like underpants. I have underpants on. I will never not be wearing. So long as this camera is on, I will never not be wearing underpants. That you have my solemn promise on. <laughs> I'm the guy who constantly fears about, like, accidentally forgetting to put pants on before going to work. I forget my backpack at home sometimes. I forget my ID sometimes at home. God forbid I walk out the door, get on my bicycle, and start biking around Philadelphia with my ass cheeks hanging out. That is not a sight I ever want anybody in the world to have to experience. Not because I'm not, like, confident in the way my body looks. I feel really embarrassed. I have had dreams like that. I am constantly, constantly afraid of that stuff. I'm gonna teleport myself to the dead horse. Then I'm gonna talk to the merchant. Then I'm gonna sell all my burial certificates. Let's see, I have two gold and 59 silver right now. After all of this, what will I have left? I don't know. I'm gonna put all my wine over here. All of my weens. Here you go. Not even a single gold. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, how much money do I have over here? Oh, you haven't done it yet. Did I collect anything? Silver crates? Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. So every single crate sells for 16 gold, which is actually incredible because wine is actually less... I get less money for the wine, the fine wine, than crates of freaking onions. How do I make more money off of onions than I do on wine? People love getting drunk! Makes no sense to me. I will not have this. Oh, uh, look at this. I can craft more pallets. I can ship out more stuff. Nice. Uh, can I do more? No, because I, I don't have flitches on me. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Anyway, well, thank you for your patronage. I'm going to go sell proof that I put people in the ground. Or rather burned them. Can I talk to you yet? Do you have anything new? No. How about you, ma'am? 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 You better talk to my... You better talk to my husband. He's in charge around here. Uh, no thanks. You're just some of the same shit as always. All right, bad luck today. I know. What about you? No, you're just... Talk to me, woman! Or don't. That's okay. It's your prerogative. I got no problem with that. Hordrick, hello. Oh, I can sell you my silver wine. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can you can take that. I actually I actually don't need it. Here, take these two. Take them all, honestly. Brit pants. Brit pants are apparently underwear. Trousers are our pants. And Japanese pantsu. Lone word. Panties. <laughs> hey, yo. Onions are useful? Maybe it's all in the layers. Apparently, they pay by the layer. Unfortunate. All right, here. I actually made more money off of that than I did, but I have one more gold piece than I did earlier, and I am a half hour into the Graveyard Keeper session. We are making great progress over here. Fast pro progress? No. Great progress? Oh, absolutely. There is definitely great progress. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I appreciate you, buddy. I like you because you take my crates from point A to point B. And I don't pay you because you don't ask for payment. And that's not... I don't think it's because... Actually, I think it's because you don't have a concept of payment. Do you even know what an economy is, zombie? I don't think you do. But honestly, you don't want to worry yourself out with the economy. So broken. And in the meantime, keep lugging these boxes. You were literally made for it. I brought you back to life to be my thrall. Thank you for being my thrall. Oh, look at this. Four grapes. I'm gonna harvest more of them. All right, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna work on more wine. I think, honestly, that's not too bad. I can harvest, I guess, I can make quite a lot of wine in a week. 
quite a miracle that I don't have to age my wine for super duper long. No, no, no. It like in the real world, it's like for years at a time. But no, 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 not here. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm run out of space. Look at that. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna use some of that. Nope, putting you back down. I don't mean to keep picking you up. And I'm trapped. I'm gonna come around the back. There we go. Grapes, grapes, grapes. Oh, actually, did I get my, did I get my grape seeds back though? I don't know if I did. Hold on. If I go here, cargo. Uh, wait a minute. Where do you? Where do you put the stuff? Do you put it in? Oh, you put. Oh my God, you put it in here. Oh. I didn't know that at all. Oh. Good for you, Pep. Nope, stop. Didn't mean to pick you up again. Uh, here. Uh. I I trust you. Here. Take all the grapes. Go go for it. I can just. I guess I can just fill you up on grapes. Wow. Uh. Yeah. Actually, I'll I'll give I'll give most of it. Not all. Actually, that'll be fine for now. I'll, I'll keep some. I'll keep growing some on my own because I want to make sure I make sure that I have more seeds left over. Uh, wow, that's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> nice. And all of this fertilizer too. And it's actually it's incredibly easy now that I know how to make the fertilizer. It's actually incredibly easy. Oh, can I not? Oh, there we go. I for some reason had a very quick problem planting those seeds. Very odd. Oh, it's spooky tonight. Very spooky tonight. Nope, stop. There we go. Planting all my seeds. Planting all my seeds. Gonna plant some seeds and make some killer ass wine. And beer, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows at this point? Grape seed. Oh, I... Didn't I literally just put that in the chest? Why didn't I... It didn't stack with each other for some reason. Not in my inventory. Wacky. And look at... Oh my god. Look at all this other stuff. This is awesome. I don't need crop waste up here. Oh. Give me the... Give me the grapes. Give me the hops. Oh. Excellent. Very good. You. You're doing great down here. Keep at it, buckaroo. You're awesome. Your parents must be very proud of you. Maybe you don't have parents. Your caregiver, which is me, must be very proud of you. I'm very proud of you. I appreciate you. Anyway, time to go downstairs and make more alcohol. First, I'm gonna... Well, I guess I'm not gonna do the beer just yet. I don't really need all this beer. I will take all this, all these grapes, though. Wow, there's so many grapes. Oh, my goodness. Grapes is... Oh, my goodness. Grapes Ha! Is... <laughs> oh, that was a pun. Excellent pun. Excellent pop. High five, Cam. All right. I am alone here. Alone here with my buns. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. This is a pretty good one. Yes! Yes! I am not alone! I am never alone. With the power of friendship, we are never alone. And friendship, as we know, will bring the world together. And so will the fruits of our labors. Maybe. I need a drink so I can gain energy to make more drink. Step one, drink. Step two, drank. Step three, drank. Step four, pace yourself. Step five, drank some more. Step six, regret. Or profit? Regret then profit. There certainly wouldn't be regret after profit. Unless you're doing illegal activities. Which if you are, so be it then. I pride myself on my sinful departures. All right. Time to make more wine. I got plenty. I got plenty of space for wine. Oh, that was it. Actually, I could use for another wine barrel. Uh, can I build another fermentation barrel? I need some simple iron parts and some flitches. Actually, I need more flitches over there, too. Step six. Put it in the bank. Put the money in the bank. Put the money in the bank. There's no bank. Because banks are shaky. Or can be. I haven't been to a bank in a while. I just use my... I just get direct deposit. I have no need to go to the bank. Oh, look! Iron parts and flitches. Oh! Excellent. I think I needed six of those? Maybe? I think? 
for a fermentation barrel? Pretty sure that was the case. And then I can make more wine. Oh, I needed more flitches. That's what I was... Uh, but I also needed four... I need more flitches. Which means I need more wood. Which means I need to expend more energy. Which means I need to construct additional pylons. Or take this tree trunk out of the ground. That this is also this is also a, a necessity. It's flitch time, baby. F L I T C H Y. I don't know. I'm having a good time. That's that's why. There there needs to be no. Oh, this is the wrong barrel. I need the wine making barrel. For that, I need nails. It's okay. I actually cut my nails recently. But it's a good thing I have some iron ones laying around. Yeah, that's what I need. I don't know if I want the wine making barrel down there. Actually, I don't know. I do want the wine making barrel down there. And the reason why is because I walk past it enough to pick up the wine. And that's the reason why I like having it down there instead. Now I can make double the wine all the time. All right, there we go. 80% chance, I'm down with that. Here we go. I wonder if there's an achievement for making a certain number of uh, wines. I think I think it's only I think it's only you do it once, and I definitely got the achievement for making uh, uh, gold star wine already. I also haven't made booze. I have never made booze. I wonder who I sell booze to. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this recent batch of wine and make booze. I don't know what that does. I've never used booze for anything. I don't think. And if I can sell it to somebody, I don't exactly know who I sell it to off the top of my head. Also, I just noticed there hasn't been a body in a while. Did I run out of carrots? I love how this game is actually also a bit of a research resource management game because you kind of kind of got to keep track of the days and what the heck's going on. Oh, look, a new body. Nice. Hey, oh, are you dark? No. Oh my god, it has been few and far between. Maybe I have to get to the bodies faster. Do they have to be, like, really, really fresh to be dark inside? I don't know. Oh, that actually, uh, I'm gonna put that fat back in. You're a really, really good body. You're a really, really good body. I'm gonna put the, oh, look, another body. Oh, I guess I wasn't, eh, this is fine. I'll extract your skin. Eh, you're not a good, very good body anymore. That's fine, I'm gonna put you over here. I have no regard for the pleasantries of your life, or what they used to be. You, you are extra fresh. Hopefully you have bad things going on, right? Right? Bad boy, bad boy? Oh my god. This is why I really have to stop relying on RNG. Not that I'm relying on it. I'm sure I will get a dark card eventually. Watch, this will be one of those moments where like, I get absolutely none of it now, but I'm gonna get a ton of them later. I will eventually be swimming in the dark hearts. Like, literally, ankle deep, full body deep, totally head deep in this. Oh, can you guys get out of the way? Thank you. Appreciate that. Anyway, more skin. Give me some skin. I know, I know, I know. Plenty of fat, plenty of blood. Blood can be used for alchemy. That's always good. Actually, let me take this blood with me. I'm gonna do some alchemy. I, I feel I feel the need to do alchemy now. Alchemical reactions are what bind our world to the world of the beyond. And I definitely need to refill. Right, I definitely need to refill. All right, carrots, there we go. Bring back more bodies now, donkey boy. Donkey comrade, appreciate you. What can I do with blood? I'm gonna try to research with blood. I, I can make speed potions. That's cool, but I'm not interested in speed right now. No, no, no. Something more. Blood and mm, alcohol and water. Blood and alcohol and water. Red, white, and blue. Do I get an America alchemy thing? Probably not. Yeah, there was goo of acceleration and goo of oh, I don't have a lot of space in my inventory. It was acceler it was acceleration that looks like oil, I think. Uh, I'm gonna put this. That was acceleration. This is goo of life, acceleration, life, and something else. 
So acceleration life. Do I already have a recipe for that? Uh, acceleration and life. I see acceleration and toxic, but not acceleration and life. Okay, this might be a new recipe. Let's try it. Good night, my dearest. Acceleration and life. And I don't know which ingredient it mixed with, though, unfortunately. Because I think you could put alcohol or all that stuff in various different positions. America is speed now. It must be done. So if I do... I'm going to put... I'll do acceleration powder. Life solution. And blood. I'm going to try blood. See if that works. See if that mixes up what I'm hoping to do. I could be right. It'd be really cool if it was right on the first try. It could also be water, it could also be alcohol. Uh, goo of death, and it looks like uh, more goo of life. Okay, uh, goo of death, and more goo of life. Oh, I have nothing in my inventory. Oh, there's no space for goo of death. Wow, incredible. Um, that's because I have too much pen and ink. Um, I don't need this complex iron part on me. It's it's only one, it's okay. Put, I'll take one of the inks with me. I think I can probably sell that. Put the goo of death in there. Death and life. Life and death? That seems oddly appropriate. Do I have something that's life and death already? I actually don't. I don't think I do up here. Life and death. Okay. How about... Let's say I had... I, have an ex I had acceleration, life, and blood. So maybe it's blood, life, and death. Maybe. I'll try... I'll do life... Or I'll do death. I'll do death. Then I'll do life. Then I'll do blood. Because that seems... That feels like it connects. Life, death, and blood. Interesting. Oh, this is a tough one. This is taking a while. Maybe, maybe. Do I have enough energy? Goo of death and goo of life. Okay. Okay. That's alright. Right? Goo of death, goo of life? Oh, it's the same exact thing as before. Ah, ha, ha. Okay, so maybe it's different permutations of those ingredients so instead what if it's uh powder of death or, or i already did death powder so how about life powder goo of or not goo uh death solution and blood let's try that one let's try that one and i also need energy uh here we go admittedly making goo of life and goo of death in quick succession oh master alchemist what did i just craft i can't see it because steam was in the way uh, what did I just make? Alkali! Oh, nice! I now discovered how to make alkali. Nice. Did I have a recipe for that before? I did not. Very cool. Very cool. Nice! I think you can use that in other things. I don't remember what, though. Oh, but uh, life and goo in quick succession does help earlier god claims, despite the whole clearly being jerked around by higher powers thing. <laughs> life and death. I created them both <gasps> at the same time. Can I use alkali as an ingredient? I don't think I can. No, nah, it's used in crafting recipes, like, down here? No, alkali is used- I think I can make fertilizer with alkali. Oh, look at that! Lye injection. Huh. Modify its characteristics. What does that do? I don't know what this does. That's okay. I'm gonna keep this particular solution over here. I made- I made alkali. That's just- this is, that's just good. I also had- it was acceleration in life, too. Right? I want to try that again. I want to try life powder. Life powder acceleration solution. And instead of blood, because I don't think it was blood, I'm going to try alcohol this time. I got a feeling about this one. That or it might be water. Could be water or alcohol. Let's see. Okay. Blood goo. And that looks like death or chaos. Blood goo. And death goo. That was probably what I just did. It was probably the blood, death, and the life stuff. So I think that was giving me the hint for the recipe that I already did. So now what I'm going to try is I'm going to try exactly what I just did. Life, acceleration, 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 and water. Because water was in that thing too. Oh, water doesn't go last. Or water doesn't go last? Where was the water? Oh, I didn't have any water. I didn't have any water. Did I use the water? I don't remember. Or does water go elsewhere? Didn't I have water? I could have sworn I had water. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna do this instead. I'm gonna put... Uh, I have life, life extract over here. 
So I'm gonna do, instead of life powder in the beginning, I'll do alcohol as well. I'm gonna try it again. And that'll be, I think, my last alchemy thing for now. Alcohol and speed leading to death is common. It's true. That was blood goo and ash? Oh, actually, oh, that seems important, actually. I have life powder on me. Oh, I didn't, why did I get life powder? How did that get into my inventory? That was interesting. I don't need that. This is ash goo. Ash goo. And blood goo. Ash and blood. Ooh. Oh, it's toxic. Ash and toxicity. Oh, actually, this is piquing my interest. Do I have an ingredient for that already? Ash and toxicity? Oh, I do. It's flavor enhancer. Somehow. Ash goo is an unsettling concept. And the fact that it tastes good is even more unsettling. Interesting. No more dead bodies around here. Alrighty then. I'ma just selectively choose to not acknowledge that. But it makes things taste good. <laughs> and I'll put the blood in one of these, uh blood in one of these cabinets. I don't know which cabinet I keep the blood in. Where did the blood get good? Blood get over here? No. Blood go elsewhere? Um blood go over here? No. That's fine. Um, this pen and ink. It's upward facing day. Doesn't help me. I'll put the blood over here. <gasps> a body's in town. I walked too far. Reasons like the graveyard keeper is banned in Pompeii. Ha, I'm eating people. <laughs> they taste good. I'm telling you, they taste great. At least that's what we're telling people. Oh, got some better wine plenty of wine. I have too much stuff in my inventory. I don't need these mugs of beer on me. I'm not going to drink them. So I will keep the mugs of beer down here until I can utilize them, because currently I cannot. I'm also... I'm going to take this booze. Boozy booze. Can I study booze? I cannot study booze. Booze is not studyable. Is What is it used for? I don't know. I'm actually going to try... I'm going to try selling it at the dead horse. I feel like they would buy booze. They do not buy booze, but they do buy this stuff, so that's fine. I make a lot of money off of this wine. Who sells booze? Ooh, you know what? I have the strangest suspicion that I know somebody who buys booze. Wait a minute, actually, what about the, the captain? Captain, I have booze on me. You seem like a boozy kind of guy. That's fine. That's okay. What about, what about you? You, you were, you were taking, no, okay. How about Dig? What if the dude who gets high all the time buys booze? I'm sure if not, the merchant probably sells booze. Or maybe there's like one townsfolk who has a serious booze problem and I'm about to exploit it. That really does feel kind of up this game's alley, to be honest. All right, Dig. Dig? Did I walk too far? Oh, no, there you are. Hey, Dig. Dig, do you buy? I've never talked to you at night, have I? Ding dong, bing bong. It's Dig. Nope, you don't buy booze. I am not surprised. You instead have your hemp fields to worry about, and whatever the heck this thing is. I still don't- I don't know what this thing is out here. It looks like it's a- This looks- Oh, I know what this is, actually. It's pressing- Oh! It's a press. That's why Dig has a press out here. He has a press because- Because he presses the hemp into oil. That's why. Oh, I never put- I never put two and two together. That makes so much sense now. Interesting. I think the bard doesn't accept booze anymore because he kept giving you stories in exchange. It's been a while though. Yeah, he was like giving me he was like giving me um in exchange for wine. Or maybe it was booze. Oh hey, hey you. Astrologer. Astrologer, you're coming out at night. Do you really walk do you get up this early in the morning? I'm proud of you, man. <laughs> it's too dark out. Everybody wants to sleepies. Everybody wants to sleepies. I'm gonna go back home for now. And then I will make my way back to the lighthouse because I want to see if the astrologer buys pen and ink. Because I feel like if anybody does, it's him. Or maybe, oh, you know what? Yo! Stargazer comes out at night. Shocking. Uh, now when you put it that way, it's actually not that shocking at all. But I wonder, I wonder if the witch, I think the witch buys alchemical ingredients. So actually, this is what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna go talk to the witch. I'm gonna see if she wants to buy the alcohol, the alkali and flavor enhancers that I have. And I think, 
I think that might be advantageous. But first, before I do that, I need to put some of my materials away upstairs before I go grab that stuff. I'm trying to think of ways to make a quick buck. So I hope that'll help me. All right, let's see. I'm just going to grab things that I made alchemically. Technically, if I can find something that sells for a lot for the witch that I can make alchemically, I just need to find ingredients for it. And that's easy. Finding ingredients is not... Like, making ingredients is not difficult. I'll take the energy elixir, silver elixir, dark elixir, the alkali, and, I don't know, do you buy frogs? I feel like you buy frogs. Or maybe... Yeah, th actually, this is all I have in my inventory. That's all I got space for, so I'm just gonna keep with that. And I think a new body just came in. Right? Right, right, right? Ah, uh, yes. And it's still warm. But are you dark inside? Dark intestines! All right! This is not what I wanted, but it's fine nonetheless. Yum. You're gonna stay there. I'm gonna come back for you another time. I am not interested in you right now. I'm gonna go talk to the witch and see what she's up to. Ah, dee da dee da dee da dee da Walking across the bridge, talking to the witch. Gonna say hello. Happy little witch. Just kidding. You're not very little. You're actually quite old, but apparently you used to be beautiful. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm on a mission for the witch too, and I don't remember what it was. So I hope she can remind me. Because I'm pretty sure there was a quest line for her too. Alright, pal. How you doing? Can I come to your house? No, I can't go in. Okay. Hey, Bo. Oh, apparently not. And you will not buy my elixirs. Mm, makes me sad. I know I can buy alchemical recipes from her. I know I can do that. Oh, wait a minute. Can I not do that anymore? Oh, I don't see any more recipes. Oh, yes, there is right, right there. But that costs five silver, and I don't have that right now. Oh, a golden apple. Somebody was asking about a golden apple. Oh, I got the golden apple. I got it from down at the bottom of the dungeon. I don't know who was asking about the dungeon, the, the thing, though. I don't remember. And what else do we have here? I see balsamic solution, there's golden elixir, there's preservatives, there's all this other gunk here, I don't even know, tanning agents, I... Oh, I thought you were gonna buy my stuff there, Clotho, I'm actually quite disappointed that you didn't. Did you have any missions for me? I know I did missions for you. What happened to that, huh? Nothing. An old witch with young eyes. Hmm. The apple was for Snake to lick, beyond that, no clue. Oh, he did lick it. I'm gonna take this wood back. This wood is mine! You can't have this wood. Not yours anymore. My wood. This is my wood and I want it now. I guess. So I guess... I know I can sell things to her, but what do I sell? Oh, maybe I can sell... Oh, here's an idea. What if I can sell those re these reagents to the astrologer? I'm gonna try that. Maybe he buys the finished alchemical product because he's a scientist. Alright, to the lighthouse. Or maybe you buy things. Do you buy things, Lighthouse Keeper? Anything of mine? No, of course not. Why would you? I still don't even know how to fish. Trade Astrologer? Will you buy... Ugh. Ah. Will nobody buy my goods? I'm gonna talk to everybody. I'm talking to everybody. Somebody's gotta buy this stuff. Otherwise... Ugh. Nobody will buy my goods. I have so many goods to sell. Dig, can I sell you chemicals? They're good for you. <sighs> not a very, uh, not a very trusting man, are you, Dig? Local graveyard keeper invents Craigslist. Hey, I'm selling chemicals. I don't know what they are, but you can have it. I wonder if it's legal to sell things that you don't know what they are on, like, Craigslist or eBay or something. Like, could I sell an unlabeled bottle of chemicals on eBay? Something about that feels illegal. Can't talk to you. Okay. What about anybody up here? I know there's an engineer. I can't go up that way. I know there's an engineer. Maybe the engineer is a chemical engineer. Maybe I could sell fertilizer to the farmer. Somebody's gotta buy something of mine, right? Oh, is this a fishing spot? Oh, there's a random fishing spot in town. Mysterious. 
Hey there, woodcutter. Would you like to buy something? No, that's fine. I'm not incredibly surprised. What about you? Want to buy stuff? Nope. You just sell shit to me. Nope. You're leaving a charmed life indeed. What about... Uh... This little dinklage. I can't go in there? That makes me sad. Oh, a body's come back. You want to buy something? Want to buy something, pal? You buy rocks. That's cool. You sell rocks. That's even better. I'm so proud of you. Very proud of you. What about the townsfolk? Huh? Bees? Bee man. I'm gonna buy some chemical bee man? I got things to sell you. Ugh. I mean, folks mislabel stuff on eBay, so it can be done, but if the buyer has money, then who knows how a case would shake out. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant for anybody involved. Wouldn't want to get mixed up on that, especially not on purpose either. Hey you, man who gambles. Want chemicals? No? Fine. What about you? You buy chemicals? Flavor enhancers? It's good. Make your food taste awesome! Incredibly disappointing. Can I sell you stuff? Do you huff chemicals? Does any of the local townsfolk huff chemicals? Maybe that's what this is for. Y'all can huff this. You can get high off this. I'm surprised Dig was into that. I think that good dude's high perpetually. Ugh. Buddy. Hey, blacksmith, you want to huff this container? Want to give it a big old sniff? You'll buy my nails. F fuck it, I'm in. Anything for some inventory space. Take that off my hands. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your patronage. What about Adam? Does Adam buy stuff? Oh, Adam. Adam. Buy my goods. Buddy, buy my goods. Buy my... I'm actually not surprised about this. this. This particular interaction, I'm not surprised about. Everything else, though, very surprised. Incredibly surprised. I'm gonna go back home. I mean, if he's always high, does he need my supply? Damn it, you're right. He doesn't need my supply. Adam, you say, in this town? Doubtful. Everybody's a sub in this town. Everybody's subversive. Submissive, that's the word, not subversive. Oh my. I tried my best. I discovered something new today, and that is nobody huffs chemicals in this town. Honestly, very disappointed to hear that. Not from a moral standpoint. Very happy to hear that from a moral standpoint. From a business standpoint, I am very disappointed. Actually, can I use... Can I use alcohol? I can... Oh... Wait, I can use alcohol. What does this do? What just happened? Oh. That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. I can utilize the booze to create more alcohol. Go figure. <laughs> oh, this game is driving me insane. In the best possible ways. You know what I have? I've had this chisel on me for the longest time. I need to go... I need to go chisel some stone. That's what I gotta do. I gotta focus on a specific goal and stick with it. Otherwise, I'm gonna drive myself insane. I'm gonna make wine. That, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna make more wine. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I'll put the rest of it over here. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. It's out of my inventory. I'll put the booze away. Apparently, I have made booze before. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna put the pumpkins up. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go rip up the plants. Oh, wait, but I forgot. Don't have any more pumpkin seeds. Hey, look, a pumpkin. Hey, look, pumpkin seeds. I... I'm going to fertilize this differently. I am going to fertilize this with quality fertilizer. Yep. Liking that. Onions. Nice. Onions. Nice. Peat. Nice. Onions. Nice. Very good. Yes. More stuff? Nope. More onions? Alrighty then. More onions for the Onion King. More onions for the Onion Lord. Hello, Lord. Would you like some onions? Mm, of course you do. <laughs> Not surprised. Everybody likes my onions. Everybody falls victim to their, their their vices every once in a while, and the vices that I sell are onions. They're terrible. <laughs> that was a terrible joke. 
because onions make you cry. My onions make you sob. <laughs> That's how good my onions are. Oh my god, it's Sunday already? Look at him go. Oh my goodness. Time flies. Wait, I just noticed. I have a zombie farm. Oh, but I have no zombie. That's... Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's something I remember. Pete's. I can eat maggots. Mmm, tasty. We knew this already. We're, we're, we're already aware of this. We already knew that we can eat, eat maggots. I don't, I don't know if our graveyard keeper is a big fan of that, but he does it anyway because I tell him to. And more properly. Okay. I think another body came in? Maybe? Or we might have run out of uh, carrots at this point. I need to chop more down more trees and burn more bodies. Oh, and deposit more carrots. Oh my goodness, so much stuff to do. Oh look, dark intestines. Why am I not surprised? Excellent. Put that over there. I could turn you into death something or other. But first, what about you? Oh, nobody. Ex no, I ain't got nobody. Nope, nothing special about you. Nothing. Nothing at all. All right, actually, I'm gonna take a look at some of the bodies that we have here. Are any of them like really, really good? You're pretty good. You're pretty good. I'm gonna put you guys in the ground. In the ground, not on, on the ground, in the ground. That's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put y'all on the ground. <gasps> hey, look, wood. I will put this guy in the ground. I will put you guys in the ground. I'm gonna dig up things and then put you in the ground. And then eventually I will give you the bestest of things. My shovel is br Whatever. It's... This is fine. I will... That's something that is very easily mendable. This is okay. I am okay with this. I am also gonna chop down this tree. Hopefully my axe does not break. This is... This is fine. This is fine. Nope, put that down. I need a shovel. I need it. Things are happening. Things are happening in Graveyard Keeper. Still having fun though. Still very much having fun. I am also getting very hot and bothered right now. I will say that. And by that, I, what I actually mean by that is I, I feel very hot right now. Temperature wise. I don't think I can make it any cooler in here. Unless I take either my shirt or my pants off. I am not going to do that. I'm just saying. I am hot. I may be sweating. I think we'll be okay though. Ugh. In any case. Consumption. Consumption. Coffee. Oh, you know what? Actually, my water, I think I forgot it on the side. Let me go grab that. <laughs> I forgot about it until now. Where are you, water bottle? Water bottle? Water bottle? Where are you? Water bottle? Where's my water bottle? Okay. I don't know where my water bottle went. I'm gonna go fill up a glass of water. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> where did this thing go? Silly water bottle, where could you have gone? Oh, come up a little bottle from my side. There we go. That's that's perfect. That is perfect. Absolutely wonderful. I have no I have no idea where it went. Yeah, that fire truck stole my water. Hmm. Oh my god, there's a straw in this container. I did not know there was a straw in there. There is. A lot more than I anticipated happening right now. This is good, though. I have a source of water, though. This is very good. Very good. Okay, okay. Back to it. Do not consume the straw. I will attempt not to, to the best of my ability. <laughs> Alright, I need... I needed wood. I needed wood for wood billets, so I can burn bodies, so I can make room for new bodies, so that I may, one day, one day... Find the darkness that lies within our hearts. The darkness that lies within my heart that may also lie in your heart. We are not cre we are not sinless creatures. I recognize that. And we should not we should not deceive ourselves into thinking that we are sinless creatures. Okay. But in the meantime, place for burning corpses. It is probably one of my favorite pastimes. Setting things on fire. A very entertaining, a very enjoyable, and a very warming experience for the mind, body, and soul. 
What did the water bears do wrong? Oh, I don't know. Tardigrades belong in the Great Conflagration as well. Everybody dies. Oh, this guy's a totally good person. There's no evilness about him. That's cool. That's that's very nice. We like we like to see that. However, I don't care. I'm gonna put you in the ground. Is dying a sin? Nah, I don't think so. It's the most natural thing you can do. Being born? Supernatural. Dying? Supernatural. Dying of natural causes, I guess. That's a pretty natural thing. Although if it comes too short, or too soon, maybe there's something sinful about it. On the bright side, I am not the one who judges, so this is good. How do we apply sin to animals? Uh, hmm, well... You see, it's a funny thing. Animals... Well, I guess now it becomes a question of, like, can animals do wrong if they're just, like, abiding by, like, nature's rules? I... I don't know. Because, like, because, like, when an animal does wrong, like, we put them down. I don't know if I'm cool with that. I don't know if I like that. Can I please exit, guys? Thank you. I'm gonna put you outside. I'm gonna take you guys and put you outside. And there we go. I will... Nope. No, 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 no. Please, on the ground. Thank you. No. Oh. Slowly but surely putting things away. There we go. There we go. There we go. Did I did I take I did not take from your body. You have a lot going on there. I'm gonna extract your flesh. Now I know one of the things that I learned as I've been playing this game so far is that each of these body parts actually has a red skull and white skull value. And you with a certain perk, you can actually see what those values are. So I'm really not trying to worry about excuse me the graveyard until I have that perk because other like aside from that it's just kind of a game of like chance and like oh is this the body part I remember want to remove is this the body part I remember want to remove if it's a dark heart though I always want to remove it and this is a really good body oh this is a really good body I'm gonna bury this guy oh yeah I'm burying this guy for sure okay you I gotta go in this one oh right I need a shovel Okay, teleport to sweet home because I'm lazy. Now I'm up here. Now I can fix my shovel. Fixing my shovel. Excellent. Do I have to re-equip my shovel? Excellent. Very glad that I don't have to. Oh, I missed the opportunity of putting on my gunk away. Gunk from the bodies, that is. I have carrots. This is good. Put on my gunk away. Oh, what a process. Honestly, just a bunch of bodies. It's basically doing the same thing as last time. It's body after body after body. Wait, you were not the right body, were you? Oh, no, 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 no. You were the right... No, no, not this one. This is the right body. You're the right body. Excellent. There we go. You can go in there. Inter. Inter. The corpse. Not... It's, it's intercorpse. Not intercourse. That is not what occurs in my graveyard. There's no me no sin in my graveyard. Only retribution. Nothing more, nothing less. Although, if y'all keep it quiet, maybe I'll let it slide. I don't believe that there are any children in my graveyard. And if they were children, I couldn't tell. So basically, I think I'm okay. Although, I guess it comes back to the whole laws of this land. Are there laws? Are there children? Actually, I don't think there's a I don't think there's a single child in this game. I haven't seen a single child. Interesting. Nobody's interested in having kids in this in this neighborhood. Alright. Well, but there is families, but there's no children. Honestly. Probably a good thing. Interoscorp sounds like Latin. That sounds almost Latin-esque. Oh wow, I had a bunch of, bunch of wood billets. I did not realize that. Cursed question. Is corpse sex only wrong because it can't result in a babby if no living person enabled them? It just feels unsanitary. It feels exploitative. I feel like there's a moral complication here. I would think. Intercorpse. Interesting. I think this is a question best left to the philosophers of our time. And people who are, I guess, a hell of a lot more explorative than me. 
To those of you who have the answers, keep them. Use that. Influence society. Influence your local community. Make a difference in your neighborhood. In whatever way that you can, for better or for worse, you are making a difference. Don't be like Hector, though. Hector fucks corpses. He's in jail now. Not in this game. It was a bit. I did a bit. If two zombies love each other very much, is it still love? Yes. Undead love. Cor corpse. I think corpses... You know what? I don't know if the living should have intercorpse. However, if the, if the undead want to do so, that's their prerogative. Who am I to dictate the life of a corpse? Not me. Certainly not me. Couldn't, couldn't be me. I got all these burial certificates now. Uh, I also, I also have a, a ton of ashes. I can make a columbarium if I have ashes. I have ashes. I can make pots, but I haven't done so yet. I need to remember what that recipe is. I think I'm just going to keep the materials in here for now, because that's where I was keeping them, I think. Yeah, salt goes here. Ash goes here. I have six, six of these guys. Got some dowels. Dowels are good. Jerry, anything for you? Nothing. That's fine. That's okay. I'm not surprised at that, actually. Okay. And it's almost Merchant Day. And on Merchant Day, we partay. No dictating corpses here, sir, says the owner of the zombie thralls. I see what you did there. I see that. I see that. No dictating corpses. No, no, that's my job. I will dictate the corpses. Oh my. Oh, I need more... need more grapes. Nah, I think I'm good on wine for now. I have plenty of... still have plenty of hops, though. And a little bit of water. I can make hamburgers, too. I can apparently sell hamburgers. Oh my goodness. I'm just trying to make a quick buck. That's all I'm trying to do. Well, you know, actually... With the remaining energy that I have left in this day... I think I should go make some, um, make some polished stones. I'm gonna take this stone. I'm gonna take this stone. Oh, look. Polished brick of stone. Thank you. I will take this piece of stone. And I think, I want to say I needed complex iron parts. I don't remember why, but I feel like I did. And I'll take this stone with me, and I'm gonna head up to the quarry and see if there's anything more that I can do up there to get this polished, these polished things of stone. So I'll try that. I was wrong about Doms in this town because you very much can't leave it. Oh, 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 give me too, we get too much credit to the folks of this town. Too much credit indeed. So I need, I needed 24 pieces of polished stone. I currently have 15 to create, uh, carved piece of stone. Oh, I don't know how to make carved stone. Interesting. How do I make carved stone? Uh, I might, I might actually be back at Sweet Home. Let me check that out. Let me check that. Maybe it's down here. Stone. Actually, let's just check it. Let's check it. A new body. Yay. I require... Requiring what? Where's the stone? Where's the stone, dude? Where's the stone out? In the stone, bro. In stone, dude. Stone? Stone. Crafted at a stone cutter too. Oh, I need a oh, I need another stone cutter. Apparently I never had that. Oh! Well I gotta wait to teleport again, so I will wait on that. For a hot second. Actually, what do I what do I have here? Anything of significance? Uh I can harvest some crops while I'm back. Ah, uh, they haven't grown yet. Oh hi there. Oh maggots. Oh my. Oh my. Yum, 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 Tasty, tasty. Oh, but now I have shit in my inventory. I was not anticipating this. However, I was anticipating more bodies in town. Are you evil? Please tell me you're evil. Are you evil? Evil doer? Evil doer? It's okay. I'll leave it that way. I can now make my way back up the quarry. To the quarry. Stone cutter two, right? Because this is a stone cutter one. Stone cutter one. Need stone cutter two. I cannot make a stone cutter two up here. 
What is a lantern network? Did I just place for lantern? Uh oh, look at this. A place for a lantern. That's cool. Um Oh. What does the lantern network do? I, I will craft Oh! I can make torches and lanterns. A use for rope. I did not know that. What is the lantern network though? Hey look, water. Uh, oh look, more lanterns. Oh, I can put down lantern. Oh, a network of lanterns to light the way. I don't see what the significance of that is. What is the utility of that? Why do I need lanterns to light the way? It doesn't make it any better, does it? I guess it makes it pretty. I like the thought. I like the thought of it. I appreciate the thought of that. I guess, can I only make the stone cutter two at home? Did I already make it by chance? I did not. I don't believe. Um, stone cutter two. Stone cutter, stone cutter two. Oh, I need nails and flitches. All right, let's make some more flitches. And nails. Did not know that I can only make it down here. Or you know what? Pfft, I probably did. I just forgot, as usual. Let's put... Uh, I want to keep the polished brick of stone on me. Let's put the complex iron parts away. Take the flitches with me. And now let's make some nails. I'll make a few nails. That'll be fine. Would it encourage NPCs to go there or something? For appearances or to show goodwill for the town or something? Oh, you know. That's possible. There might be like... Like, this... <sighs> This game confuses me because it's not incredibly clear about what you need to do and, like, what you can, can do. So, like, for all I know, building the lanterns is a necessity for something, but I will have no way of knowing unless I look it up or I do something with it. Out of curiosity, I have a strange feeling. This is, this is my current hypothesis. I think there's a ghost that used to visit me. The ghost has not visited me in a long time. If I light up the way to the cabin, maybe they will haunt the quarry instead, and I can talk to them there. But honestly, that could be so far off. I literally have no idea. But it makes sense to me. All right, I'm gonna build a stone cutter now. Stone cutter two. It's a big. It's a big one. I'll put it right up here. There we go. And so over here, I should be able to make carved stone and and regular stone too but i don't have a lot of stone down here to be honest don't forget it is merchant day okay polished carved piece of stone a what the frig is that thing a st stone plinth what oh or okay or i don't have to make a stone plinth i can do something else Oh, this is a stone plinth. It's made from... Oh, that's for recycling purposes. I can recycle. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Oh! I can turn things back into stone. That's really useful, actually. I did not realize that. That's incredible. Okay. Carved piece of stone. I need faith. Ah. And I needed only two of them. So I will do two of them. I'll go grab some faith. Yeah. Ghosts with terrible night vision amuses me for reasons unknown. I like the, I like the idea. I mean, like... It doesn't seem that far off to me. Like, I feel like I've definitely heard culturally, like, lighting the way for spirits to find their way back home. But, like, I don't know. This That very well might be beyond this game. But maybe not. I don't know. I need space in my inventory. Oh, my God. I still have this ink left. I'm getting rid of this ink. I can't sell it. I can't sell it, and I'm not going to use it. One, two, three. There we go. Back to sweet home. I'm lazy. I'm warping back upstairs. Back to sweet home. Like the marigolds for the Day of the Dead. Oh, for the marigolds! I forgot. Yeah, the marigolds! That just... Um, immediately when you brought up uh, Day of the Dead, you made me think of Coco. And Coco is such a wonderful movie. And now that I think about it, I think the bridge was made of marigolds. I'm pretty sure... I am 100% positive that it was. Actually, what is this? Is this marble? I think I need a marble stockpile. So I can put the marble down. Because currently I can't use the marble otherwise. Do I have a marble stockpile? Stone stock. Oh, I could use a stone stockpile, but I need more flitches for that. I'm gonna chop down some wood. And yes to the whole marigolds thing, or at least the petals. They were definitely petals. Definitely petals of marigolds. Alright, take this wood. I'll keep it over here. I only need a little bit more, a couple more flitches. To build a stone stockpile, I can build this. Excuse me, the stone stockpile and put some stuff in it. 
It'll be great. It'll be great. It'll be awesome. You'll be there. I'll be there. It'll be great. Stone stockpile. Timber stockpile. Where is the... Where'd you go? Stone. Oh, there's a vine. I can do a vine press over here, too. I think I have a vine press downstairs already. I don't need more of that. I'm gonna put this... Oh, do I have enough space? Oh, do I have enough... Yes, thank God. Awesome. I'll take you over here, build this back up. Then I'll have a place to put the marble. Then I can start constructing with marble, which means my graveyard is gonna look awesome. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel the progress happening. I think. I don't know. All right, let's make some carved pieces of stone. And I need 24 polished pieces of stone and 12 complex iron parts. Excellent. I think we're right on our way. Pieces of marble. I need, oh, little uh wedges wedges for that and i think uh i can either use polishing paste for a polished brick of stone or i can use the thing i'm gonna use this one and i can only do one at a, I, it's kind of annoying that i can only do one at a time oh it's merchant day wait a minute i gotta go talk to the, talk to the merchant uh yeah gonna go to the dead horse gonna talk to you gonna sell my burial certificates thank you then go talk to my buddy, the merchant. The merchant, he talked to me. He gave me goods. Good, good things. Very good things, indeed. All right, here. Buy my stuff. Buy everything. I love how gold wine. I can sell silver star wine at the dead horse for more than I can sell it here, which is ridiculous to me. I think I'm oversaturating the market. Is so bothersome to me. I'm getting like nothing for this. Do I need to like? I'm not. I'm not selling it to you. No way. I'm actually. I'm not gonna do it. I am not going to do it. I am not gonna sell you my good red wine. Not until you offer me a better price for it. This is ridiculous. No way, dude. No. I won't accept this. I'm walking away from this offer. I am walking away. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep my wine in my basement all to myself until you give me a fair price for them. Because this... Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to build myself another chest, and it's going to be specifically for the wine. That's what it's going to be for. I need flitches and con... Uh, little parts. That's what I need. Uh, ridiculous. The nerve of these people. And I needed flitches, right? Of course I did. Maybe it's because this guy has also taken a cut? It's very suspicious. Oh, it's super suspicious. I feel like I'm being exploited, and I don't appreciate exploitation. I'm being used by the industry. Blech. And I think I'll actually keep my wine up here. I'll just build a... Can I build another... Can I build another chest up here? I thought perhaps I could. It does not appear that I can. All right, I guess I'll put it in the basement. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, dude. Put the trunk down here. I'll put it, uh, put it here. That's my, that's my wine trunk. I'm gonna put all my wine in there. And then drink my sorrows away. Gulp. Yum. Yeah, put all my wine in there. That's, that's ridiculous. No way, dude. I will not accept this. Oh, well. Fair trade. Fair trade in the gate graveyard keeper world. We like to see that. We, we'd like, we would like to see that. Although we don't. It's unfortunate. It's the life that we live. It's so sad. Alrighty. More stone. How much polished stone? I have 16. I need 8 more. A polishing will do. A polishing will do. I love how I need to wait for the iron chisel to pop back into my inventory. Uh, actually, can I do... I need... Let's see. I currently have 17. I need... 3 plus 4. I need 7. Nope. Hold on. Craft. Q. Oh, I can't make more than that? There we go. Seven. That's what I needed. Exactly. Nice. Now you gotta wait for the chisel to come back. Then I can do it again. I don't have enough energy. I'll drink the last of my mead. And then I'll start eating all my lettuce. It's good for the body. It keeps me going. Oh my goodness, I'm out of energy again. That's okay. That's why we have cabbages. Cabbages to help us do the dirty work all the time. Not enough resources. Oh, I lost my chisel, didn't I? I think I can make another one down here, right? Chisel? 
Ch chisel? Steel chisel. Excellent. I don't need a steel chisel. Just a regular chisel's fine. That's fine. I don't think I need anything more than a steel chisel. I think I, I saw what... I, I did look up... Or I know what the upper level chisels can be used for. At least I thought. I honestly forget what it is now. I'll eat the rest of these. Awesome. I have... Now I just need complex iron parts. And I think... Do I have 12? I have 7. That's almost enough. I need a few more. That will be enough. That, that'll work. And then I can create... What was I doing this for? I was doing this for my stone fence. To make my graveyard look extra crispy. So to speak. Put all my nails away. Uh, I'll put the stone and the flitches away. I don't really need those right now. And here we go. Heading on down. My graveyard has a nice... I will have a nice fence now. Actually, but before I do that, I'm going to see this body and see what you got, what you got, what you got. You got a lot of, you got a lot of stuff going on in there, my guy. You got a lot of stuff going on in there. I will take your flesh, extract it. Oh, I am tired. Eat the scavenge. Eat these beets. Num, 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 num. Very tasty. Uh, that made you a little more deplorable. What about if I take your blood out? That made you a little less deplorable. If I remove your fat, I'm beautifying you. Except some people's standards. Okay, you became better. Not sure how I like the morality of that, or the, the meta of that. And you know what? I'm gonna put your skin back. Because you were you were a nicer person with your skin, and I really don't use the skin very much. There we go. I like you. You are gonna go in my you're gonna go in my graveyard. I like you. I like you. You're a you're a nice body. You got a very pretty body. Oh, but else, but first, but first, carrots. You gotta keep this cycle going. The cycle of body after body after body after body. Over and over and over again. Ad infinitum. Oh my goodness gracious. Alright, there you go. Enter that corpse. Enter corpse it is. Got the burial certificate. And now I'll build a fence. Excellent. Build stone fence. Plus 10. Achievement unlocked. Stone fence. Can I make a better fence? Is there a better fence I can make? No, I think that's it. Now I want to see if I can do the stone columbarium. That actually doesn't look difficult aside from um, just making those ceramic funeral urns. Could be cool. Could be awesome. Could be super extra special wonderful. And I need my graveyard. My graveyard, the goal of the graveyard is to be at 200. And honestly, if I just... If I take an episode... A stream. I don't know why I keep calling these episodes. These are much longer. These are much longer than normal episodes. But if I just take an entire stream just to like make graves after grave after grave after grave, I think it'll be very easily accomplished. Combined with being able to like manipulate the body so that their characteristics are where I want them to be. But I'll get there. Actually, I think I have enough for that now. No, no, no I need 200. It was 200 or 300. I think that's back here. It's 300. I need 300. I need to be a cultist. There's still a lot more blue stuff to go. But we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. Let me think. Where... What was I just accomplishing? I'm gonna give my... Give my character a rest. Think about what I was just accomplishing. I still need more money. I still need to be able to create more money. But in the meantime, I was increasing the quality of the graveyard just keep doing more money stuff i'm waiting on the merchant to give me better prices on that wine i think i need to look up and see like how that how the economy of that works because i did notice like the more you sell stuff the less their price becomes but like i wonder how far that goes honestly oh, i didn't know i had silver star pumpkins in here i gotta keep those with me um i got meat 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 i know i can sell food i know i can sell food too like i could sell food i can i'm gonna i'm gonna double check and see if I can sell alchemical reagents to Clawbo. Because honestly, if I can make a quick buck on these extracts and stuff like that, I feel like that would be really, really advantageous. But I don't know. Only one way to find out. So that's what I'm going to try. I feel like I think the extracts, extracts, yeah, these things, I think would be the, if, if anything were to sell for a high price, I feel like these things would. Or maybe like, uh, I don't know. 
I don't want to sell the silver and gold. That's kind of hard to come by. But like electric powder or or sp spices even. I don't think I have spices. But like this life powder and stuff. I don't need. I don't necessarily need all that. What about ash? Maybe I can sell ash. I have a lot of ash. If I can sell ash. Oh, actually, that would be amazing if I can sell ash. I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if I can sell these to the witch. I, I got to... I gotta be able to sell something and i don't know what it is yet but if i can find out at least one thing that i can sell and get a lot of or like the general class of things that she is willing to buy this could be good for our economy not the not the town's economy my economy i have only my self-interests at heart here that's just the way it's got to be it's a dog eat dog word world out there it's a corpse eat corpse world literally not literally these zombies don't eat each other, I don't believe. I don't think my zombies dying on human flesh. That would be a lot. All right, Claw, though. Hi, how you doing? Do you... All right, then. That's fine. You, you don't... Who will buy my wonderful spices? Who will buy nobody... Where's a desperate art student to shovel ash onto when you need one? Press that shit into charcoal blocks. Seriously, though, somebody's got to be into this. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to buy my ash. Oh. But you know what I can make with the ash? I can make. I can make funeral urns with it. I can make funeral urns with ash and paper and pots. I think that's all I need. Ash, paper, and pots. I think, and I think I craft those right in here. Right. Serving funeral. Oh, it's just it's just ash and those things there. And I think I need 12 for the columbarium. I'm gonna make as many as I want to. I'm gonna make all of them. I'm gonna make all the funeral urns. Do those stack? I hope they stack. They do stack. Excellent. And I'm getting blue points. Only one blue point at a time, but this is good. No paper needed at all. Despite the fact that it very clearly has a label on it. I I'm not asking questions. I'm not gonna somehow somehow ash and pot become paper. I I have no words. And I think I needed some more polished bricks of stone. I wanna say I needed four. I'm just gonna make all the ones that I can and uh see if I'm correct. Oh come on, really? There we go. That's what I needed. This is kinda all I do here. I really only make polished stone here. And I'm slowly but surely gaining more blue points. More, 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 more blue points. I'm getting there. Oh, but I'm out of energy. And so I need to eat more beets. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. More, please? Two more? As many as you need, really. Not enough resources. That's a lie. Mm, sort of. Technically, as I was... I, I feel like this is what the Graveyard Keeper does. He finishes chiseling the stone and he like he flips the chisel up in the air and catches it in the other hand and then flips it back and that's the time it takes for me to make another thing it's like ah i gotta i gotta do my little trick first we got another body how are you doing body you're doing really great that's i wish i could be happier for you anyway columbarium i wonder how many columbariums i can make i think they're like 12 points each it's pretty awesome pretty good deal oh i need these uh la, 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 la. i need those ones the rectangulars also i just realized my inventory is completely full no wait wait actually i'm gonna go in here drop off all of these resources and then only then i will do that actually i just i just remembered something too i know that i can make a prayer for wealth i know that i can do that and i haven't and i think i should prioritize that I'm going to do that. I am most definitely going to prioritize that. Electric powder, you stay in here. And then the ash, I have too much ash on me. I'm just going to destroy it. I don't need it. How do I make the prayer for wealth if I don't already have it? Do I have a prayer for wealth? I don't have a prayer for wealth. But I know I can make one. Right, 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 right. Prayer for excellence? Excellence? Excellence. Prosperity. I feel like shoots and roots, faith, repentance. I know repentance wasn't it. That makes people pay more, do more confessions, which I don't really need. 
A prayer for repose. I don't know it. I think that, is there more dead bodies or higher quality dead bodies? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, uh, that was it. Sermon money plus all deceased are welcome to your graveyard advertising. I think it just... I think it just... I don't remember what it does, to be perfectly honest. And I'm not quite interested right now. I think... I'm pretty sure I also unlocked combo player prayers. Oh, ceramic rune. Ooh, I can research this. I'm gonna research that. Yeah, totally. I'll study that. I'll study the shit out of that. Blue points? Nice. Oh. Uh, excellent. But I thought I researched combo prayer. Oh, look at that. Prayer for donations. I missed that. Didn't I also get combo prayers? No, did I not? Well. Pfft. Hell yeah. <laughs> combo. Oh, combo prayer. Oh, look at that. It's a combo prayer. It allows for faith and prayer and things. But I want, I want pray. I want to pray for donations. I want. I need a gold star chapter. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna try to make a gold star chapter. Oh my god. Ooh, there's a ninety percent chance. Ooh, there's a ninety percent chance. Okay. Okay. I, I have the strangest feeling. Oh my god, thank goodness. Oh, that's perfect. And now, oh, 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 epic prayer for donations. <laughs> oh, my churchgoers are going to love this. Make it happen. Now, the question is, I need 50 prayer points to guarantee a successful ceremony. So... What am I at right now? I think I need incense for that, to be able to bring it up to that level. What am I currently at? I'm at 47. Oh! Oh! So! Oh! Easy. Actually, have I created more stuff to make my church better? Wooden church shrine, candelabras, incense burners. Oh, these are beautiful. Oh, I don't have stained glass windows. This feels doable. I'm, I'm gonna write down this recipe. I think I think I can make stained glass windows. <laughs> I think I can totally do that by by next Sunday. I can totally do that. I need uh, glass, complex iron parts, and gold jewelry details. Details. And I need how many of each? I need four, five, and two. I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that I can put up two stained glass windows so that is what i'm gonna try to do i'm gonna try to do that which is gonna hopefully give me more donations i think that's what i'll do the last thing that i will do for tonight because it is getting rather late is i am going to make some stained glass windows and have a successful prayer that's what i'm gonna do that'll be the last thing i do but first stained glass windows let's get it on so I, mean, this guy, I, ha I know how to do complex iron parts. I know how to do glass. Gold jewelry details. And I need two of each. And I can make... I just need one more fit. Easy. easy. Mr. Keeper, I don't think you understand why it's called stained glass with the lack of coloring agents. Hey. I ain't, co I ain't complaining. Paper magically appeared on the funeral urns. We take those. Color magically appears on the glass. We take those. <laughs> I will not complain about that. But I need some faith. I need some faith. I gotta get some faith, dude. I'm just gonna take all my faith with me. And I needed complex iron parts. I need the glass. I don't remember where I put the glass. I know I kept glass around here somewhere. Oh, look at that. Glass. Nice. I'm gonna warp my way back upstairs because I'm lazy. I need four more pieces of glass though. And I know I can make glass in here. Oh, but I'm out of, I'm out of fuel. I need fuel from sticks. I need four pieces of glass. That's all I need. Just make me a little bit more of that. In the meantime, I will make some gold jewelry details. Hold on. I want more of those. There we go. That's how many I want. Craft it up. Oh, that feels like it's going to be a lot of energy. This is a lot of energy. Ooh. That's okay. It's worth it. For my people. For my churchgoers. For my pious worshippers not of me of the narrator who is god 
We we do this for them. Oh, when I get blue points for that? Excellent. I wonder, can I research gold jewelry details? I can, and I haven't done so yet. I am totally going to research them first. I'll make my way down to the research table. I'll make my way up to the church. I'll put the stained glass windows in there. And then we've got a little bit of time to kill until next Sunday. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. I'm honestly wondering to myself, like, how much gold I can even get for a successful ceremony like that. I don't know if it's a lot, but it might be. So before I totally run out of energy, I'm gonna get these beats. Because this is the source of my- the beats are the source of my power. Cabbages, also a source of my power. And an excellent, excellent source of vitamin... I don't know. You, you got you got me there. Beats, 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 beats. Mm, tasty. The glass just finished. I see that over there. Over there. I, my camera's mirrored. It's, it's whatever. If I point this way towards the game, I will point towards the game. That's how I designed it. Okay. Cool. And I wonder if there's anything else that's researchable. Uh, not crop waste. Don't need that. Definitely don't need that. Anything that hasn't been researched yet that I could research? I'll just take it down with me because I'm heading in that direction. I have a fishing rod. I feel like I should I should keep that on me. I don't know why I didn't keep that with me. Hmm. Anything up here to be researched? Oh, I have a bunch of a bunch of beets and cabbage. It's probably there for a reason though. I I have faith in whatever reason I have to keep them there. Can I research any of these things? Nope, but that's okay. And I've definitely already researched wine before. I've been... I've been around wine so much. There's no way that I don't already know about it. But I will research these gold jewelry details, which I feel like are going to give me a lot of red points. Maybe? Perchance? Oh, wow. To research it is 10 faith. That's a lot. This better. Yeah, this is definitely going to give me a lot of points. This is a good one. I can feel it. I can feel it in my jewelry. Excellent. Excellent. Oh. Very excellent. What can I use that on? Don't know yet. Actually, let's take a look. What? I'm trying to save up blue points, but what other technologies can I spend things on that I don't already have? I think everything kind of requires a rather significant amount of blue points at this point. Um, yeah, that's a little bit. It's a little bit of blue. Uh, you would cry blue. Y'all are blue. Y'all are blue. Y'all are blue. Swordmaster requires a lot of blue. It's so much blue. Oh my god. Oh, not zombie quarrying. Hey yo. Got him. Yeah. I need a lot of blue points. <gasps> a body just arrived. And it's fresh. The perfect way to end uh, upward facing day. Oh, I need to take you guys off my operating table. Thank, thank you. Thank you for not taking up space from the others. You're still at 100. Stay at 100. Yeah. <laughs> On the bright side, higher quality bodies are showing up. I don't know what the reason for that is. If there is any particular rhyme or reason behind it. <laughs> Let the bodies hit your door. Eh. Eh. Anyway, you can sit there for a little while. I don't plan on taking care of you for a little while. Oh, I need more carrots. I am running low on carrots. Gotta keep the cycle going. Keep it going. Keep the cycle going. Around and around and around and around and around. <laughs> Had you used a repose prayer previously? I did, but the effects only last for a little while. Like, there, there'll be, like, a counter on the top of the screen that'll say, like, how long the particular thing lasts for. And another thing. Only after you activate the effect do you have an accurate description of what it's doing. So previously, unless I use it, I don't really know what it's doing. Which is... Another nuance of this game that slightly bothers me, but it's a fun game. Hell, I've put almost 70 hours in this game. I like this game. Oh, I forgot the complex iron parts. Shucks. Also, wasn't I? Oh, I also need the square pieces for the columbarium. Oh, I'll do that. Sweet home. Hello. Hi there. I'll take the square pieces. I need four. And I need 
10 total complex iron parts. And I have currently one right now. That is okay. I will make more complex iron parts. Oh, this is excellent. This is exactly how many I need. Nice. I wonder if being capable of having active strong pairs helps get more bodies, like having a good rep. I think so. I think it all, it all is kind of connected. Like, honestly, I'm sure that there is a way to, like, game out certain things and only because like i'm not super familiar with it am i not doing it now but also like the game doesn't really good do a good job of coaching you on it you you really got to figure it out yourself or look it up so that, I, I will say maybe that's you know what maybe that's a plus of this game this game is not handholdy it is not handholdy at all it expects you to figure it out on your own or look it up and i guess there's there is something there, there's something to be desired about that i think all right, Columbarium, where can you go? Is there any place that is, like, specific for you? Any, like, any, like, small plot of land that would be perfect for you? It doesn't look like there is. I could put you, like, right in the middle of a... I could put you in front of graves? No, there's not enough space for that. Okay, how about... I don't know, I'm gonna put one right here. That's cute looking. Yeah, that's cute. I dig that. I build you up. Build up high to the sky. Nice. And now for the stained glass windows. If I don't, if I don't get stuck behind a pole. Stained glass windows. And it looks like, oh, what? They take the place of. They take the place of my candelabra. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I can actually put them there. Can I? I thought I could rotate. Uh, uh. Uh, I thought I could rotate these around. No? I could have sworn I could rotate those. Oh, whatever. I mean, Elder, Elden Ring's not hand-holding, and folks adore it right now. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't played Elden Ring, but... Maybe because there, there are windows, you can't? I don't know, but it seems like... Oh. For a moment, it looked like that you could put them there. But that would mean that I can only put a window in one location. Couldn't, I could have sworn I could rotate other things. Really? Something about that don't seem right. Hold on. Okay, well, if that's the case, then I guess I'll remove this. What happened to my cursor? Oh, there you are. You can... My cursor gets stuck behind the wall. This is... I don't like that. That's weird. All right, I'll remove you so I can put a window where you are. That'll remove two, but it'll add five, so it all works out. I, I will still get what I'm looking for. Uh, I don't need the carrot seeds. Oh, I should have researched them. Snap. Oh, okay, then. Wait, but I can't... Eh? All right, there is apparently no space for stained glass windows. Not in my church. I... I suppose I'm making candles. I am... the slightest bit confused. But I'm okay with it. It just doesn't fit. Is there any space more northward? No, there's nothing up there. Interesting. I have a feeling that there's another upgrade to the church that I'm just not aware of right now. I guess I'll I guess I'll keep those ingredients outside then. Um hmm. Very odd then. Alright, well I guess in the meantime, I guess I'll make some candles, burn some incense, and that will give us the amount of faith we need for a successful sermon on Sunday. And we'll see how much monies we can get from the peoples. Can I interact with this columbarium at all? Nah, just looks pretty. Cool. Can I, is, can I upgrade the church? I bet, you know, I bet I have to get to the next level of friendship with the bishop so that he can give me permission to build up the church. Ugh. Ugh, 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 ugh. That's fine. All right, well, I'll put you out here, the glass out here, and all the other pieces, the complex iron parts out here. I just realized if I put all the iron parts in there, I probably won't have enough left for the candelabra to go back up. 
right? Oh, I screwed myself. I need more complex iron parts. And for that, I need to use more simple iron parts. Oh. Why must the world be so complex like these iron parts? The world is not a simple place anymore. It makes me so sad. A tear run down my eye. Moy, moy, depressoso. I definitely said that wrong. In any case, I will put... I will put the candelabra back where it needs to go. Actually, can I upgrade my pews? Can I make better pews? Oh, soft church benches. Okay. That is something that I can definitely use, but I would have to buy stuff from the merchant, and I'm trying to make money right now, not spend it. Oh my god, I... Oh, I put away the complex... I put the iron parts... Ah, I gotta do this again. Patience, Cameron. Think things through thoroughly. Measure twice, cut once. Or so they say. Okay. Now I'll walk back down. Then I'll determine how to make candles again. Then I will wait until Sunday. Then I will light the candles. Then I will have a good service. Then... Profit. At least in the short term. And we'll see how that goes. If I can... Do, dude, if I could get like a gold per service awesome like 50 something silver that would be amazing also i will officially have my faith in humanity restored also it's a wall candelabra and i forgot about that whoopity doodles thank goodness i still have the materials okay and what do you put in the candelabras candles i need to make candles right i think i can make candles how does one make candles oh look at that candles at a church workbench more candles at church workbench what you make candles is this the workbench? No, that's the desk. Candle. Candle. Oh, look at this. White paint. Is that all it takes? Oh, but it takes wax, too. And I can make incense with freshener. Oh! Ah ha 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 ha. I can make freshener. Yeah, you know what? I'll make, I'll make a few candles. And I'll make some incense. I think I have incense burners, don't I? Nice. Candles. I mean... Where there's bees, there's beeswax. Oh, this is true. This is very true. Very good point. And I was I mean, was meaning to go off and get some bee stuff. I will become the Febreze. The Febreze is me. The Febreze is us. Freshener. I'll make I'll make a bit of incense. Might as well. With the power of alchemy. I like that. I really like Alchemy is a cool I I, I really do like this game. I have, have I'm having a ton of fun with this game. Like, this is this has become one of those series i look back in history apparently i have streamed this game on almost 20 separate occasions and they've all been these like shorter term sessions and whatnot and i am so happy to come back to it it's a little frustrating at times but i am genuinely enjoying like this is this is probably i was gonna say the longest i've played a game recently technically not true but it feels that way i like that can i research these things I don't think I've researched candles and stuff yet. Oh, I cannot research them. Disappointing. Makes sense to me, given the Spooktober. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. It was back in Spooktober. I think I started this. I think I've been playing this game as long as I've worked my most recent job. Man, that's great. Actually, did I have incense burners? Oh, I do. I have two incense burners. Okay. All right. I'm going to meditate until Sunday. I have these. this prayer. For donations in my inventory? Actually, it says I only gained three silver. Is that the case? Crossing my fingers. If it's only three silver, then I don't think this is worth it. And if that's the case, I am going to end this very, very... I'm going to end this stream very disapprovingly. <laughs> all right. I'm putting all of my positive vibes all together. Oh, look, and a body just came by. Maybe, maybe all of this positivity is all built up to this moment where I will find a dark heart in the body of the body that just came by, in the torso of the body that just arrived. I will gain my dark heart, I will gain my money, I will gain my sanity back, and then everybody will be happy in a perfect world. Is that the right way to cross fingers for a church thing? I am crossing my fingers. 
crossing my fingers for this one too. You have a very, you have a very nice body. I will say that. I'm gonna put you over here because I just need a place to put you. You are still fresh. That's uh, good. Dark brain. All right, we take those. That's fine. I will take your brain out. It gives me blue points. I like blue points. It's not a lot of blue points, but it's blue points nonetheless. I'll keep you over here. Nobody's asking for blue points anymore. People want dark hearts, but we haven't gotten those. Oh, it's the nighttime. It's not quite, uh, now it's Sunday. Well, I'll take the time to light up the candles and stuff. Light up the candles, hang around a little bit. Oh, this grave needs... Oh, I don't have one of those. I was gonna say, that grave down there requires, um... Requires a little gate around it, and I haven't put it there. Unfortunate. What else can I craft over here? Prayer stations, I can put more columbariums down. There's plenty of things I can do. Make some lawns. It's cute. Close, but no cigar there. Close, but no in burned incense. That adds plus two. Like that. Adds plus two. Like that. I think I'll put the candles on the taller candelabras, the ones that are closer to the people. It's just aesthetically more pleasing, I think. Oh, it requires two. Plus six. All right. Plus six. I like that. Now I just wait for... Wait for the day to happen. I guess while I wait for that, I'll just go downstairs and do some alchemy. I'll do some... When the church preacher, when the preacher is not currently preaching the word of the Lord, he's downstairs attempting to circumvent magic and create science, which some would say is against the Lord. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I just, I have silk. I have silk. I didn't know that I had silk. I could actually make better benches, but that's not something I'm going to do today. Let's mix up alcohol and, I don't know, death and, I don't know, uh... Yeah, toxicity. I like that. That's that's fine. That's probably okay. Shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a mix a mix a mix a mix a chaos and goo. How about alcohol, chaos, and goo? Alcohol, chaos, chaos. Oh wait, what was the other one? <laughs> and and toxic, toxic. Alcohol, chaos, and toxicity. I don't think I have toxic solution, do I? But we'll see. Alcohol, chaos, and I do have toxicity. Awesome. And somehow got this stuff in my inventory again. Annoying. I created Everclear. <laughs> I did. That's booze. That's my booze that I got. Okay, that was goo or order and silver goo. Did I already do that? I see silver and... Uh, that was... That was order. Because I used chaos. That's silver elixir. That's how to make silver elixir. So I already know that recipe. So maybe instead it's... Uh, it could be toxic... Toxic, chaos... And then alcohol over here. I'm actually running out of alcohol. That's interesting. Oh my god, is this pretty good? Oh. <laughs> it's still telling me silver goo and order goo again. All right, that's fine. I'm gonna... It's time to go talk to the people upstairs. Goo, 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 goo. And I, for some reason, have all the reagents back in my inventory. I'm not sure why. I don't need to put the alcohol away. Put the chaos solution back where it's supposed to go. Somehow scratching my nose has made it itch even more. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> I should have some... Maybe I should just have tissues on standby at this desk. Should probably do that. All right. Well, anyways, almost done with this anyway. Time to pray with the gold star donations. Here we go. Success rate 100. I like to say a few words as I scratch my nose. <laughs> Our church is great. It's awesome. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. You're wonderful. We are all wonderful. It's great. Oh, give me the faith. Give me the faith. But mostly give me money. Da, da, da. Okay, nice. Okay, nice. Snaps. Snaps for the guy. Your donations are welcome. Thank you. Actually, your donations are required. You must tip on your way out. Do not forget to tip your priest. Tip your church. 38th. Of... That seems significant. How much? Money bonus. All right. So I think 
yeah, awesome. All right, I got eight silver from that. It's not a lot, but it's enough. I'm almost at four gold. At this rate, it'll take me... Two more months to get to become an aristocrat. <laughs> oh my goodness. That worked, though. That gave me a that gave me significant a significant amount of money. R I P I P I P I P. Oh my goodness. Well, in any case, this was excellent. Despite the fact that I feel like I kind of just did the same thing over again, it's the grind. The grind is real. We're grinding. That's what we're doing. This has been a, we're grinding for money. Grinding for money. We're grinding for everything. Oh my goodness. That's what I got, everybody. That's the show for this evening. That's that's how we're gonna end it. I think we've made a lot of progress, so to speak. We're get we're getting we're becoming more, a more savvy buyer. We're becoming a more savvy graveyard keeper. We're becoming a more savvy preacher. We're increasing our internal abilities so that we can positively influence the world around us, which only consists of our little microcosm. The graveyard keeper does not care about the town, and the town clearly does not care about the keeper, but that is not, doesn't matter. Just doesn't matter, so long as we're doing well. We're grinding to keep a fine edge. See, that's no grindstone. And we got a lot of blues and a lot of reds, discoveries to be made, discoveries that have happened. It was a good day. It was a good day, a good day indeed. And for that, for, for coming along and joining, I, Thank you for that, because it's good, and it's wonderful, and thank you, everybody. That's all I got. That's the show. That's the show for the evening. There was a wonderful cocktail mode earlier. It's green. I still have it here. I did not finish it. I wasn't very, wasn't a big fan of it, but it got, it got greener. It did get greener. Ugh. Anyway, it was fun. You're very welcome for the stream. Best of luck. Have a great night to everybody else. If it's the night where you are, if it's the morning where you are, please have a wonderful morning. If it's the morning and you feel like you should have slept a little bit longer, that's okay. Sleep in. You have my permission. Not that you needed it, you beautiful person. Anyway, happy dawn, happy twilight, happy everything to everybody. Have a wonderful one. No matter what time zone that you're in, the party must continue wherever we are. Peace out until next time, everybody.